morning everybody. Welcome back. It's time to head back up to deer camp. So right now it's Friday morning. It's 12 degrees outside. It's going for a high of 22 today. And then tonight it's supposed to drop down to 12, but tomorrow it's supposed to get up to 31, and then there's supposed to be snow in the afternoon. Right now, George has been up here all week, and uh, Tom was with them too. I don't think that Tom is up there right now. Steven was with them, of course, last weekend and then had to go back for work. And then he came up yesterday, and they're out in the stand right now. So George said, uh, I think he texted me on Wednesday and said that he passed on a six point buck at seven o'clock in the morning on Wednesday because Stephen was coming back up and he didn't, you know, George didn't want his hunt to end. So he just waited. It must not have been a really huge one. And uh, my dad, he's going to be coming up in the morning. He said he thinks he can be up here by 11 o'clock. So I definitely want to go over and start his wood stove at the folks cabin so it gets partially warmed up in there for him. Because uh, just like the tent, you know, it takes a full 24 hours to really get it heated up. I guess I got a little change of plans there. My dad just texted me and said uh, not to start his stove in case he can't make it up tomorrow. He's going to stay all of next week. I have to go back on Sunday. So we'll not start his stove, but he can start it when he comes up. For tonight and tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to sit at my far clearing stand, the one I was in uh, when I left last weekend or on Tuesday. And uh, just sit there. George said there was some deer tracks crossing the road right there, but there's also some wolf tracks. And then once I'm up there and I like, drive the loop, I can see if there's a lot of tracks down by my far stand, the one that I sit in on opener all the time. And then just make a decision of where I want to go. When the wolves are around or hunting up in this area, you pretty much have to go where you see the deer tracks if you've got multiple options of where to sit. Oh, it looks like it's a little bit colder, just a little bit colder. I think it was, what was it, 16.1 or something last time when we came up? But it's 21.2 in here. I need to uh, get the ashes cleaned out of the stove, and then I'll get that fired up. All the oil is, uh, it's not as white as it gets though. I mean, it's, it's, uh, the tent would have stayed warm for at least, you know, I just left on, we, Sarah and I left on Tuesday 
and now it's Friday morning, so the tent would have stayed kind of warm for a couple of days just because everything was heated up. I even have bottles of water here that are not frozen. This isn't frozen. But that heat does feel good. I didn't bring up a whole lot this time because remember last time we took all the frozen the stuff that can't freeze out. So I just brought up four cans of vegetables. We got some leftover oranges kind of from last weekend, a couple of onions, and I brought up potatoes. I brought up uh, two big chuck steaks to cook so I can have them for lunch and for dinner. And then I brought up some pork spare ribs because I'm only up here today's Friday, so I got Friday night and Saturday night. And then lunches I did bring up. I do have some other stuff in case I had to stay longer, like some stew meat, both beef and pork, that Sarah and I brought up last time and we didn't use. And uh, a pound of hamburger. So, but anyway, we should have plenty of food. I think tonight I'll probably do the chuck steaks. I want to be out in my stand before 2 o'clock this afternoon uh, to the clearing stand, like I said earlier. Hopefully we'll see some deer. the ashes out of the stove it always takes a little longer for you to really be able to get some heat out of the stove because uh, I don't know it's just without the ashes in there it takes longer it seems like for it to get a good bed of coals I think it's because the um, like the lighter fluid doesn't have anything to go into that I use to start the fire but it's hot now Started up the gas grill out there. I'm just going to cook up a few hamburgers here, and it's about 11:30. The air temperature in here now is 82 degrees, but my feet are still cold. <laughs>
Pretty nice fast lunch. minutes after one right now it's only 17 degrees it feels warmer because there isn't much wind or anything but uh, I don't know hopefully it'll be a good night there's not a lot of wind or anything and tonight now the temperature is supposed to drop down to 12 but then rise overnight so possible some snow tomorrow afternoon depending on where I listen to some of it sounds like yes for sure and some of it sounds like probably not Those guys just stopped and then backed up and talked and they uh, they're over maybe uh, five six miles from here and they've been up all week and they have shot some deer nothing really big yet but they uh, the guy said that he watches the videos so that was nice talking to him they have a lot of wolves over there too but not any big bunches of wolves it's like two or three at a time kind of like what we're seeing for tracks here like I don't know was it last year or the year before when I saw like six or seven wolves coming through and this year it's just like one set of tracks or two set of tracks so who knows can't shoot anything unless you're out in the stand Well, that's it for legal shooting today. It's 4.59. The sun set at 4.29. So I didn't even see a squirrel. Didn't hear a shot. I think tomorrow, though, is going to have some pretty good conditions if it doesn't get windy. Let's head back to the tent.
Well, I'm going to do two baked potatoes because they're easy. And I got these chuck steaks. These things are nice and big. This was, they're reduced. They were $7.65 for both of them. You can't even eat fast food for that. And this is going to do more than two meals because there's no way I can eat that much. So um, that was a really good deal. I saw them at the store and I had to grab them. That's all getting going here. I should have time to spend some more time editing last week's Deer Hunting the movie. That one there had, I'm on the, the uh, just about to go into the third folder. And there's six, 16 folders, but the first two are the biggest. Um, and it was almost an hour long even before I get to the other 13 or whatever, 14. But they're a lot shorter folders, so. I was just texting with George, and um, he said every deer that they've seen has been between, I don't know, like 7 and 10, 15 in the morning or something. But tomorrow it's supposed to warm up, and he said it sounds like there's going to be some wind. And it does say a high of 32 tomorrow, but the winds are going to be south-southeast at 10 to 20. And the wind is the worst up here, because when it gets really windy, those deer just lay low. But remember, two years ago when I shot that deer, it was so windy in the morning that I said I was not going to go out. And then I, I couldn't do it. I had to go out there, and I went out there, shot my buck, which was little, and then while dragging it out, saw two other bucks. So, um, and then it says snow showers for tomorrow night, low of only 27. Wind south at 5 to 10, a chance of snow is 50% for 1 to 3 inches. So that'll be interesting to see if that happens. It sounds like they still don't know. Well, it's time to put those steaks on, but I can't. Oh, there they are. I didn't do dishes last time. So this was usually I just stick them in here, you know, but. done out there now. I didn't think the potatoes would be done yet, but they are. That's good. Steaks look awesome. Some French style green beans. Okay, everyone, it's supper time. I just come over here and was looking out the back door and realized I haven't plugged in my truck yet. It'll be a cold start in the morning. Okay everyone, well it's 10 minutes to 10. Unfortunately, that wind is picking up here. I was really hoping for a nice quiet morning tomorrow on the deer stand. I'm gonna head to bed. We'll see what tomorrow looks like. Good morning everybody. The good news is it's warmed up now to 27 degrees, but the wind picked up and it's coming off the lake so it's more southerly wind. It'll be hitting me in the face in the in the deer stand, which is good. But uh, I was really hoping for no wind, <laughs> but it's definitely picked up overnight. Well, 
Now it looks like shooting time is at 6.35 about this morning. It feels cold out there with that wind, but it's now it's 27.7. That means it's 43 degrees warmer than it was on Tuesday when Sarah and I were out in the stand. <laughs> it feels colder with the wind, but... Uh, Well, it's coming up on 9 o'clock now at 644 I had a wolf that came within 10 feet of the stand here it kind of followed up where I walked in and then I seen it I heard it and then I seen it and then it cut in the woods here behind me so if the wolves are running around here I'm sure the deer are not but I've still stayed seems to me if there was one way up in the clearing and was coming across it wouldn't really know that there was a wolf over here but I'm sure they've been all over the whole area. And that and the fact that there's a bunch of wind here. I don't think the deer are going to be moving around. I haven't heard a shot at all this morning. George and Stephen, they stayed in the inn today. He said he's hunted for seven days in a row and it was windy. And he just took a break for the day. I'll probably sit here another half hour or so. And then I want to drive and take a look at Sarah's stand, see if there's tracks in there. And then go down to my far stand, see if there's any tracks around down there. Figure out my next plan. Well, everyone, waiting a little longer paid off. I just shot a buck. I was sitting here looking forward over this direction. And I moved a little bit in my stand. And what happened was the deer blew. And I thought it was the fabric on the back of my jacket like swishing against something but it's I hadn't heard a sound like that at all and uh, I looked to my left and there was a buck over there which is weird because the wolf went into the woods here and it came out of the woods there and then it ran a little bit and it stopped and gave me a perfect broadside I shot he ran about 30 feet and he dropped so I'm gonna wait it's been about five minutes I'll wait another 10 minutes he's actually right let's see here you see where that log is right there the deer is somewhere right by there I'm still shaking <laughs> all right let's go check them out Not a bad little eight pointer there. That's a nice deer. Really nice. All right, well, I'm going to take care of the dirty work here. And then I suppose I'll probably go get the four wheeler to drag him out because uh, he's a little bigger than the smaller ones I shot. Or that one that I got two years ago that was in this opening but way up on the hill. All right, the dirty work is done. I think I'll head back to the truck. And uh, I guess I'll probably go up that way and see what the quickest way to get out of here is. My dad's stand is right over there. I definitely want to go back and get the four-wheeler. I thought maybe I could just drag it through the woods here because there's not that much woods between the clearing and here but uh in that particular area there is quite a bit so i'll bring the truck back get the four-wheeler drive over just drag it all the way back
have a piece of string, I uh, filled out my registration tag, cut the slit in the, little, in the back leg where I always put it, and I shoved it in there, but I don't have a piece of string to tie it on. So I need that, and then we'll head over and get the four-wheeler. Look at that scrape. I'm sure this is from that buck. He was probably was here before he uh, went over and got shot. Wow, yeah, there's his tracks.
Well, there it is. All the hard work is done. It's up on the pole. I know people are going to complain. Why do you hang it head up like that? It disrespects the deer, whatever. I heard it all. This is the way I was taught. This is the way my grandpa did it. This is the way my dad does it. This is the way I do it. Different people do it different ways in different parts of the world. I'm going to drive back to that stand right now because I have a sleeping bag and a cushion. A seat cushion there. I want to pull that off. I'm not going to sit in that stand anymore. This weekend for sure. Here's those wolf tracks right here. And my stand is right there, so I guess it was probably 30 feet away, not 10. Seemed a little closer when I came in here though. I've shot more deer out of that stand than any of the other stands we have up here. Tried to be as scent free as you can out there and still that deer and with all that wind blowing smelled me. I <laughs> pretty lucky he did it. I may not have even seen him. Are you on the clearing there? <clears throat> yep, out in that clearing. And it was like 30 feet away and there was a wolf there and <clears throat> went in behind me into the woods. Right. And I sat there anyway and even though today was I, well, I figured it out this morning, 44 degrees warmer than it was Tuesday. It still felt cold <laughs> with that wind, you know? Yeah, it was really humming now. And then just about 9 o'clock, I was sitting there and I was looking forward. I, I, I was going to leave at like 8.30 because of the wolf and everything. Uh -huh. and I decided to stick around and then uh, I was in the state until 9. And I was looking forward and I heard it. Well, what I heard was the deer blow. I thought it was like my shirt or something on oh, the back. Yeah. It was like I wasn't even really moving. And I looked over and that buck was there. And then he ran, it's like, oh no, and then he stopped and gave me perfect broadside shot. Oh. He, shot him he went about 30 feet and he dropped. So. <coughs> what are you sure it's through eight or? Uh, 30 out of six. You were. Yep. So, and then when I pulled, you know, I had to get in the four wheeler out there and oh, yeah. drove out there. Then when I was coming back, or when I was driving the four wheeler out, you got to get around the logs. Well, my dad, he's going to sit in Sarah's stand tonight, which is fine with me. I am gonna, I'll probably run down to my far stand and just sit there tonight and see if anything happens. Haven't been down there now for a while. But right now it's straight up 12 o'clock, so I am hungry. Time for lunch. I don't even think I'm going to have to cook tonight, really. Well, it's 1.40 right now. After lunch, I haven't been doing much. I just been editing a little bit more on the last, the opening weekend video, and I'll probably get my stuff together and go out there about two o'clock. It's gotten windier outside right now. I see the sun pops out and then goes away, but it's really windy now. Well, I just finished folder seven out of 16 on this video. Uh, this is just about where Zachary is just about to go home. It is five minutes to two, so let's get the heavy clothes on and get out to the deer stand. Sometimes that wind is really gusty, but up here sometimes, just like that last hour of the day, the wind will die down and who knows, a deer might come out.
I sure don't see any fresh sign here. I wish I had a chair for the uh, ground blind. There was that trail was getting used quite a bit. out there I was texting with George talking about deer hunting and the wolves and everything and uh, Stephen his son and him just uploaded their deer hunting week one video on their YouTube channel and I tried to the channel name is um, living north you have to put in living north channel you have to have channel in there and uh, I tried to access it on my phone but I get such crappy cell phone service down here I couldn't load the video it loaded but then it would just sit there and spin so I want to watch that when I get back to the tent my dad texted me and said I should probably leave tonight because there's snow and ice coming overnight tonight and then I looked on my my phone and finally when the weather popped up it uh, there's a advisory from 10 o'clock tonight till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for freezing rain which will make the roads ice and then up to an inch of snow I'm just, I'm going to stay the night though, and if the road, if it seems bad in the morning, I will not come out and do the morning hunt. I'll just pack everything into the truck that needs to be, we'll get everything cleaned up tonight, and, uh, and then I'll just leave when it gets light out and drive slow. Well, all I've been doing since I got back here is editing on this video. It's such a long one this time that, uh, and it, it just, this is the only time that I really have to do it. This week is going to be just completely busy. So I was just working on that. Pretty soon now I'm going to uh, start cleaning things up in here. I don't have to cook tonight. I was going to do a shower, but I'm just going to wait and do a shower when I get to the farmhouse tomorrow. So I just pick things up a little bit, and then in the morning, if it's icy and snowing, I'll just get everything packed in. I gotta hook up the trailer onto my truck, put Zachary's little trailer into that trailer, get the deer into the trailer, and uh, just make sure everything is shut up for, I might come up next weekend. I don't know if my dad will get a deer during the uh, beginning part of the week here. Um, if he does, I won't have to come up here next weekend, and that'll be it until a winter trip, probably. Actually, this winter, I think I wanna do a couple of winter trips, but still, it'll be a while until I can get back up.
Well, that's enough cleaning for tonight. I can get the rest tomorrow. I need to get this journal filled out. I shot a deer today. There's a lot to write about. Okay, everyone. It's almost 10.30 at night. I'm going to head for bed. My phone says that the snow will continue, but I still don't see any snowflakes. I guess we'll see what it's like in the morning. Good morning, everybody. All I've been doing this morning is just uh, putting a few things in the truck here. I'm waiting for it to get light out so that I can hook up those, or start to get light so I can hook up the trailer onto the truck. It's uh, lightly misting outside, but it's like it isn't forming ice on my windshield. So I'm hoping that the roads are just wet and not icy, but I won't know until I get out there. It's 32.5 degrees, so we're right there. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Like I said, I might be up here at the end of this week. I'm not real sure. We'll see how my dad does, see how work goes. So I might be up here in just a few more days, or it might not be until the winter trip. Icy roads. I will see you guys on the next video.